Greetings ladies and gentlemen, today we will be learning how to make a digital painting using GIMP. Let's get started, shall we? Create a new document, make it 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. A larger canvas makes room for more details. Import the image into your document. My image is much smaller, so we're going to make it bigger. Create a new layer, call it lines. Upon it, we'll be drawing some strokes for the painting. Using your parts to start drawing parts, we think we'll be stroking along the part we just created. I'm just gonna start with the face. Then go to stroke parts and stroke it using about 8 pixels. Let's do the same for the rest. Create a new layer, call it glasses. We think we'll be making the lines for the glasses. Create a new layer, call it hair. We think we're making lines along the hair using our paintbrush tool. Let's erase the other side of the head. Return to your lines layer and continue drawing lines. Create a new layer called Inclined Details. Upon it, we'll be mapping out the contours of the face, the darker parts, the lighter parts, to enable us to paint quicker. I'm just gonna make strokes around it using the path tool.
Now let's start painting the face, creating a layer and poly face. And on it we will be painting every detail of the face. Let's pick a base color for the face because she's um, darker in complexion. We're going to pick a color that fits to it. Not too dark, not too fair. Now to quickly change between colors, I'm going to open up the dialog box on GIMP. It's going to enable me to quickly change between colors instead of opening up the colors menu every time. It's going to just be open for me to pick colors anytime I want. I'm just going to rearrange the dialog boxes for easy editing. Now let's start adding details to the face. And let's pick a reddish color for the lips. Next step, we will add shades and highlights to the face. Using the magic selection tool, I'm going to select the face so I can easily paint within the face without having to paint beyond it. So the selection will be around the face, then I can easily draw lines around and across the face, make shapes inside and within the face. I'm going to duplicate the background image and make myself another reference image. I'm going to put it by the side of the drawing of the canvas so that I could be having a look at what I'm painting so I can easily make changes and add lights and add shades to wherever I need to. Let's add some highlights.
continue painting, I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush to make the strokes feel more like a gradient along the face. Turn to our line details layer. We're going to be making more guidelines to show the lights and the shadows of the face. So, um, let's do that. created a monster but never mind we're going to be returning to our face layer to use this as a guideline to paint our face going to go down to my paint brush too and I'm going to go down to the basic digital brush with it I'm going to do the rest of the painting most of the rest of the painting to add shades and add light and give it that artistic effect
this point on it comes down to skill and patience you want to get the color you want and you we are working with the paintbrush tool and the pencil tool so what you really need to do is pick the colors that match what you're looking for and paint with it so to get that artistic effect remember we are using the paint brush tool so keep a close watch on the video I'll be speeding some things up and I'll be slowing some things down for you to see what I'm exactly what I'm doing so for the rest of the tutorial you may not be hearing my voice but keep a close watch it comes down to skill it comes down to patience it comes down to technique but all of it is colors and the brush the brush and the colors the artist the imagination
Thank you ladies and gentlemen for coming to the end of part 1. Let's go over to part 2. A link to the video is in the description down below. Let's go over there.